Good morning, and we are going live. So at least this one pops in and says I can. Oh, wait, I forgot to ask a question. So good morning, I hope everybody is having a great day. And I am going live as of right now onto Facebook. see if it actually goes on for me and comes on for me. There we go. We're in. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. We have the show in here. I can see it's trying to put in. So let's see what happens, guys. It's trying. It says it's trying. I'm hoping Facebook's not going to screw me up again. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and keep going on with the show. We are doing great this morning. Everything is great. It's a beautiful sunny day in South Florida. Uh, good morning, Mr. Joseph Schaefer. How are you, sir? Glad to see you here today. Did a little different. Back back, back to the norms today. Um, first, I'm still working on the drag store, of course. I'm glad you came in and said good morning. Hope you had a great evening and a great day. Um, there will be no show tomorrow, guys. I have doctor's appointments tomorrow. Uh, but I will recontinue on Friday, which we will be probably doing. I'm thinking we're going to get done with number three and start on number four today. So in five, I've already started doing the wheels, getting them all prepped. I got one of them sanded down. Um, I'm not going to do the other one yet, but I just wanted to check things out and see how it works. Uh-oh, looks like they're saying they're having a problem with the video. Are you guys able to see me on Facebook? My phone is not charging very well, so I need to charge it up real quick. Hang tight, guys. Let's see if I can get in and see what's going on. Joseph, can you see the live feed, brother? Because right now my screen is telling me that it is not available. I do not know why. I'm going to go to Facebook and make sure everything's still live. Yep, I'm still live, so I'm going to leave it alone. Joseph, can you see the live feed, brother? Even though it says it's having trouble playing the video. Okay, cool. Appreciate it, brother. Like I said, it's, it's just it's just what's going on here with the software, I guess, because uh, my uh, source is uh, saying it's got a really good connection, and I'm seeing it on the Facebook group, so I guess I'm just going to leave it being like the uh, <laughs> software fool itself. Anyways, um, I went ahead and just kind of mocked stuff up. I was getting antsy. You know how that goes when you want to find a build. Let me turn that thing down. When you get a build and you start getting to a certain point, you start wanting to see what it's really going to look like. So I kind of took a picture, and it's up on the screen of the engine sitting in it and so forth. But we are going to do the front end today, so I have to remove all the body parts that I put in this morning and last night just to take pictures. There we go. Everything seems to fit pretty well, though. There's a little bit of a connection problem back here, which I think I can fit with some with a dot of super glue. Um, the chassis fit right into place. Snap right down into place with ease. Now I'm just hoping it comes out with just as much ease. There we go. Yep. Okay. So there we go. So we're going to be doing the front end here, which I know is going to be a pain in the rumpel still skin, as it only connects with these two little. The only thing that's really connecting it are these two little things and these bars to the side rails. That doesn't really connect to this except for for these. So that could be a little bit of a pain in the butt with my hands, but we're going to get her done. All right, let's go check. I need, I need, sorry about my light there, guys, but I need that to make sure I'm not cutting off the wrong pieces. I'm going to trim it up a little bit and sand it down a little bit. Clean it up. So I did give everybody a notice, so hopefully we'll have some people jumping in. Um, yesterday was fun, though, Joseph. I was glad to have you, man. I really am. I'm honored to have so many great model builders in my group. I really am. I know you guys have a lot of groups that you're in, and you run your own groups, and um, I've been to them, and I'm, I'm really amazed by everything that you guys do. Um, you guys are some amazing builders, so I am definitely humbled to have you at my shows. Like I said, I have never and probably will never profess to be something that I'm not, which is someone who does everything exactly perfect or to the key. Some of your guys' builds make me want to not keep building. They're so great, but I am not that type of person. I will love your builds as much as I love my builds. And uh, as long as it's plastic, I guess um, you could say I'm addicted to it. 
Oh, I see something else going on down here. I missed it. There we go. All right, cool. All right. Uh, I did all my good mornings this morning and so forth, so we're all done there. But I just wanted to make sure to get it out on the video that I will not be doing a show tomorrow because of doctor appointments. So, um, and I'm usually pretty tired by the time I'm done after getting up in the morning and going and dealing with doctors and having him poke and prod and check and do this, that, and the other. I'm pretty tired when I get home. Um, and then, of course, I can't take my meds when I go see him because that kind of defeats the purpose of seeing uh, the doctor. Um, so I wait till I pretty much get done with this office to take my meds, and about an hour and a half later, an hour later, I'm pretty much done. So you don't want to see me build while my meds are kicking in, that's for dang sure. Alright, so we have everything cleaned up. Uh, we have the numbers... Oop, I am on the wrong instruction set, sorry guys. Alright, we are on the dragster number 3. Uh, we have numbers 39 and 40, which are these little doohickeys here. We have... Number 42 and number 43, which are these two. And we have number 38, which are those two. So those are really the only thing it's showing other than the cross member, which is showing us 39. So 41, so 39, 40, 41, 42, and 43 along with 38. All right? So that's what we needed for here. Um, okay, so I see where that little mechanism went now. What did I do with that little mechanism? I put it back into here and I put it in the box. Alright, so there's a steering wheel, the oil pan, and the windshield. This is the windshield for this one, but it popped off, so I left it in the box. Alright. Yeah, no, no, that's cool. That's cool. Hey, man, that's why I do that. You guys chat away, bro. I love it. I I'm loving it. Yeah, it, it, I just, I just can't, man. I, I, you know, I drive a big old F two fifty. You know, it's a custom made. It's got a three fifty. It, it sits a little higher. It's got airbags and stuff on it. I cannot. Um, I, I don't want to be all drugged up and meded up. You know, I, I don't mind taking my meds and driving later on, you know what I mean? Um, but really having my meds hit me while I'm on the road, is it, it would, I wouldn't be happy. Um, I mean, it can do anything from make me have to go to the bathroom to um, make, have me have an upset stomach, cause sweats, um, which it's all has happened um, while I've been on the road. But I'd prefer, especially in town, I mean, if I'm on the highway and stuff, pulling my trailer and so forth, um, and I feel pretty comfortable of knowing where I'm going and what I'm doing. And um, I may go ahead and take my meds before we leave, a couple hours before we leave, so that they're actually in my system while I'm on the road, um, so that I don't hurt while I'm sitting for hours. But when it comes to city driving and all these idiots around here, no, I, I, I can't. I gotta be. I gotta be functional. Well, at least semi-functional. <laughs> semi-functional. <laughs> I don't. Um, really care if anybody likes or doesn't like, you know, the way I drive, to be honest with you, you know, with the truck that I drive, really, if you're too small and you get in my way, I'm just going to feel like a bug went up underneath me, you know, so, um, especially with the way they're making cars these days, I'm glad I bought my big old truck, I mean, it is 22 and a half foot long, man, you know, and it, it does stand about six and a half, seven foot tall, it is probably nine foot wide, eight foot wide, so, it's not a little board going down the road, you know what I mean? It's not like your little typical F-150. It's got a 250 body, and my son calls it a wannabe 350, because it's got all 350 parts underneath. <laughs> yeah, you, the, the, exactly, they make me tired. The, my muscle relaxers get me. Um, I take two different kinds of pain meds as well Um, for the, the for the, the uh, excuse me. See there again, I took my meds a couple hours ago, so it's, um, my brains get functioning foggy. Uh, non-functioning and foggy. Um, I take two meds. I take um, a, a fast-acting one, which almost instantly, within 30 minutes, starts to affect me. And then I take a 12-hour one, which is supposed to last me through the day um, because of the injury in my neck. Um, I know I do a lot of physical stuff I'm not supposed to do, and my doctor would probably have a freaking towel, but I, I don't have anybody that I can... I can't... Hey, Dave! Dang, I just looked up and saw you popped in. How are you, brother? I was just... I was just ranting about my meds and how they affect me and how I know I do things I shouldn't be doing, you know, as we all do. But I don't have I don't have the funds to pay somebody to do stuff like remove a tree or stuff like that. You know, I, I feel bad as it is that I take my truck to a dang mechanic. Um, I used to do all that work, too. I can no longer do that, you know. Um, I do try to do a little bit of plumbing work like the toilet and stuff here and there, but I take my time at it. Um, it's something that I did on a daily basis for years, so I just do it easily. Good morning, Mr. Jeff. Oh, my goodness. How are you today? Glad to have you. 
Yeah, I got a bit done, and I went ahead and um, painted the color that I wanted. As you can see, it doesn't look gray anymore. Uh, let me see if I can get a big enough piece. Here we go. Um, get this off. Maybe that'll help. As you see, there's there is a diff, there is a color difference. Um, I went ahead and hit it with the silver, the metallic silver last night, and or metallic chrome last night, and I brushed along the rails where I wanted to be kind of like off. I didn't want it so um, how should I say shiny. Um, but I've been kind of mocking up and playing and this, that, and the other with it this morning. So there's a picture up here on the thing that I did this morning. Um, but everything seems to line up. That's why I was doing that to make sure the engine was lining up before I started doing any real, you know, tech, techy little work with the front end um, because of how many small parts there are on there. Um, also, just so you guys know, they are showing the rods with the, there's, there's an angle on them. Like so, there's just a little angle on them. It's like angles to the front. I don't know if you guys can see that. You guys can see that angle. It's probably better with something black. I ain't got nothing black, guys. Anyways, I'm sure you guys know. Um, it appears that the angle would go up when it connects to the chassis. Uh, the little bit of an angle. So that you guys got to watch for that on which side you put what one on, because um, that will determine which way the angle goes. So, but I have everything laid out. So we have basically three parts on each side to connect to the. This is not going to be fun for me, guys. All right. Oh, and I got the bar back here I still have to install. I have it installed as well, so that, that'll be put on today, too, as well. And then we will move on to the steering wheel and so forth. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I, I have a 25-pound weight limit um, on any given time and a 50-pound once a month. Um, I'm allowed to do up to 50 pounds once a month, um, but I'm not allowed to go any further than that. So basically, if I pick up something that's, you know, 35 pounds today, tomorrow I'm supposed to not pick up anything more than 15 or whatever. Um, he did know I was physical, you know, when I got hurt. He knows that I'm a very physical guy. And I'm, 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 I'm not a sitter. Um, I get agity, and I don't know if that's ADHD or what the heck you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. Um, my meds wearing off, whatever. Um, but I have a habit of, you know, when I'm done with you guys, I do one of two things. I either go out and do something for work. Um, oh, moving on. I love that movie. I love that movie. Um, I just either, I either go and lay down because my meds kick my rump or I get into something and try to stay busy. Otherwise, I'm going to be just doing nothing. Um, it appears that we don't pull poles and leaves, so these have to go on the front first. And there are little little grooves in the front of this that they're going. So I'm trying to determine, should I put them on the chassis first? And that looks like it's got a little bit of a warp in it. All right. All right, so that's supposed to fit right in there like that. All right, so let's go ahead and, um, this is going to be a real fun one. I love BG and the Baron Convoy too. Yes, I watch them all. Right now, believe it or not, I'm watching old 1970s cartoons on my TV. <laughs> They're in the background here. Let me see if I don't want to get into it. Let me show you. I see this. Let me show you. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. I kid you not. I get up in the mornings and I put cartoons on my TV. Uh, it's just me again. I don't know. It's, it's one of those weird things. Excuse, for the, ex excuse the trip there, guys. <laughs> Gave you a little motion sickness there. But I do. I, I, I watch all them old shows. Um, I watch Starsky and Hutch. I love watching that. That's on a channel here locally um, every day at 7 at p.m. They have Chips on, Starsky and Hutch on. They have a $6 million man on that channel. Um, good times. Um, they have them all. They, I mean, they have them all. It, it's, it's awesome, you know, to, to go back to my childhood. That White Line Fever is another great movie. It really it is. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get something on the front end here. Wish me luck, guys. I'm a little shaky today. Get a couple of toothpicks out. <laughs> All right. Well, like I said, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It did come out pretty nice. So the chassis actually came out pretty nice. I was very very happy with it. Um, I got a little bit of sanding to do down here and touching up just to get rid of that seam. Um, but everything else seemed to do right. And it's all straight. I pinned it and everything last night overnight. When I was done, so the glue didn't, or the paint didn't make it warp, so I made sure to do that. All right, we're going to take a little bit of my glue here, and I'm going to do these little doohickey things first. I don't even know what they're called, if anybody else does. 
please let me know. Alright, so appearances that it goes on this. So I'm going to put them on this first because that seems to be going to be the best place for them. Man, I hate doing this with the light, guys. I'm sorry. But I'm here, though. Alright, I'm going to look up every now. I was thinking, uh, all I really have is cement or uh, um, super glue or this or the windshield glue. So I figured this would be probably the better one for that, as long as I get it just right and I let it sit long enough. See, that's coming. That that can that that settled out pretty nice. So, I know I I need some I need a different glue. I I also have I need a bonding um putty also. Um, so when I do want to do sanding or when I want to do specific features and so forth, I can create them. Um, there's a lot of things I still have to learn, a lot of things I'm still willing to learn. I'm learning it the, a little bit at a time as we go. Wait again. Here we go, guys. Excuse my bold head being in the camera. All right, again, as long as I get that right on the right spot and right in between those, I shouldn't have to move it, and they should seal up pretty good by the time I want to really put it on. Um, is it in the right place? No. <laughs> Yeah, actually it is. It goes on the, okay, so they go on. There's an inside set and an outside set. It goes on the outside set of ribs. I'm sorry, on the inside. The outside goes to the chassis itself, it appears. There we go. Or to the stabilizer bars or whatever you want to call them. All right, so now I'm going to let this set for a minute. And pray to all get out that it goes right into place for me. Because these have to go from these little pins forward to it. So we shall see. Alright, does look like maybe things nice and straight. The pedal looks nice and straight still. Um, I'm surprised they didn't get a fire extinguisher in here with this kit or something, man. Don't most drag cars have a fire extinguisher with it? Yes, sir. Every day. Every day. I learned something new. I see something new in one of the groups. And I want to apologize to Dave. I haven't been visiting his group as much as I should have. And I, 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 I'm going to start visiting everybody's groups a lot more. Um, I just get so enthralled with doing everything for PAA um, and the model asylum that when I'm offline, I just offline. <laughs> But I invited a couple of you guys to my personal profile, you guys. I don't know if you guys got it or not. Um, oh, I haven't done a shout-out. i got to give my buddy Dave a shout-out. His logo is not on the screen today. Um, it will be back up on Friday. Uh, but give him a shout-out at Dam's Paint Body and Detailing. Uh, the number is going to be in the description here when it hits YouTube. Uh, his address and number will be in there. So, guys, go give him a yell-out. Uh, tell him we sent you. I wish I was closer because I'd go, I'd go just say hey to him for the heck of it. All right, so I'm going to, and I don't want to do it that way. See that? See that? See that? I was getting ready to grab a hold of the big end of that glue and try to get this non-messy thing going. I'm trying my best, guys, not to make it a mess. All right, so now, again, I'm going to go with putting it on this because it's got this, whoops. It's got the grooves for it, so hopefully it works. Okay, so there's a dip in one side and not the other. So I glued the dip and not the outside, right? Correct. Okay, so the dip would go to the inside and goes right into that set of brackets right there. Dang it. Let's get this turned over like that. All right, so if I'm sure that's where I'm going with it, so this goes here. This goes like so, and that thing goes to the outside. So it shows it goes like so, with the bend coming in like this. That's correct. Okay, so then this one would go here. Yes, I know, I'm talking to myself again. All right, that's said set up very nicely. Just make sure it's right parallel to it. All right, eventually I'll be able to connect everything in. Let's see if it's gonna line up. Yep, okay, everything lines up. And then these go on the front. Oh man, come on. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. Alright, so I didn't put glue over here like I should have. 
All right, drop a, a very vivid drop of glue, guys. I'm hoping this doesn't look horrible while I'm done. There we go. All right, I'm going to turn this on the side where it's going to go and try to get it to settle up like that. All right, so far so good with that. Let me get the clean toothpick over here and kind of separate these two a little bit here more. There we go, that should work. All right, once I get the other one on, should pick it up and level it out. Ah, oh, man. Oops, there goes one of the oopsies, guys. See, those are the things they don't show you how many times you have to fight a little tiny part to get into place. And by the way, thank you, everybody, that sent in little videos to the group. That was amazing watching them last night. I watched them all. I think I watched them all, unless somebody got some in there after I was done. But I do thank you all for making those little videos. It was really cool to watch you guys, to have you guys make those little videos of your builds. And I did notice we all build a lot of the same kits because that's all the kits we can find. we got to find somewhere that sends us like Aussie kits or something, guys. Somewhere that, some things that we don't get. You know, some kind of a cool build that this country doesn't get. Like like old, old, old London cars and stuff, old London cabs and stuff like that, and police cars and stuff. I know you can make them because nowadays they use new fancy rice burner cars for their police cars, but... I'm talking like the really old police cars and two-story buses and stuff. I'd really love to do a two-story bus. Heck, I'd love to do a Greyhound. Just for the general purpose of saying, hey, you know, I built one of those. I'm not sure if this front end is going to go in today, guys. That's why I'm trying to get as much of it glued up as possible. So hopefully I'll be able to put it into place before we say... Hasta la vista, baby. All right. Okay, upwards, correct. Okay, let's use the other stick to bring it up a bit. All right, it appears that that is going to be what we're doing. There we go. Now if I can just stop playing with it and let it settle up. Okay, that should do it. Ah. Stop moving around, Dopey. All right, there we go. That should do it. Once that sets up and dries, I'm probably going to not touch it for a while there, guys. Okay, so we got that going. Um, let's let that front end set up to the side. And these two go on the front of it once I get it on. So we'll do that last. Uh, I can try to get this thing to settle up, though. Morning, Steven. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I got that. It's, it should be on Facebook One of the um, on one of the in one of the folders there, bro. Cool. It's a fun little build. It is. I, it, it was one of my fun little builds that I did in between, kind of like my NPC uh, motorcycles that I do. I kind of try to build fun stuff once in a while rather than just do the rigs and the cars and stuff. I like, oh, wrong one, wrong one. Don't get glue on that one. That's the one you're using. All right. So I am going to put the, I'm assuming that that has something to do with the wheelie bars in the back. So this is going to go here. Trying to get as little glue on here as possible, guys. I am going to say this. I notice about dragsters. Everything shows in dragsters. Everything shows because it's a rail cart. Um, you're supposed to have the, on this one, I'm supposed to be able to remove the front cover and the seat cover to be able to see the actual interior and chassis. So I'm going to be doing that, making sure that happens. Uh, and I'll be detailing the seat out in black. Eventually, I'm not even sure if it is black. I don't know what color it is. I'll have to look on the picture. Yeah, it's black. As well as the, it looks like some of the roll bar is black here. Or that chassis may be totally black, but I did my, I did my metallic uh, metal look. All right, now I want to, a little bit of hair there. I want to make sure that I can get this to stick on this a little bit here. All right, so now we are going to put this bar into place because I can't mess with the front end right now. And we'll go over to the tires. All right, that should hold into place, like so. All right, so we got that into place now, too. Let's set that off to the side as well. I need some place to set it. There we go. Okay, it's out of the box. Nope, okay, that should be perfect. All right, let's go ahead and build some tires, just for the heck of having some, just something to do. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Gold sounds cool. What do they say? Pictures or it didn't happen? <laughs> Nah, you know I'm teasing you, buddy. 
All right, so let's get that out of the way. Let's do this, turn that light off. We don't need it. Um, so I'm gonna go over here and find the parts for the tires. Um, there's really not a lot. There's a front rim, a spindle, and the two parts that go on the front tire. So there's the rear ones and there's the outside ones. So just the, that's the, the thing with these things is I've noticed that unless it's different than the last kit that I built, because even on the flame out had these little thin tires. It was a pain in the butt getting the tires to stay and sit on the rims. But these seem like they fit pretty snug. So that's pretty good. They feel like this they seem like they fit pretty snug snug. So we'll clean them up and get them going, get them going as well. So um, and then um to Friday. Um hopefully because uh, I know there's only six or seven. I think we said six the other day. Yes, seven. Um this is where we're going to get all the other stuff in. Um, the engine sits perfectly fine in place. Like I said, I showed you the picture. I don't have the engine bracket inside there, which will make it sit more level than I have it. Uh, the front cover feels looks like it's a little tight when I put it in, so I may have to adjust uh, the opening where the engine might rub up against it because um, I notice it sits back a little bit back there on the picture back there. Um, and then it's just the decals for the last number seven. Um, and this is telling me not to glue any of these three parts or the axle. So we won't be gluing those parts in unless I have to. I may glue the back end, the back seat in. I'm sorry, the back part of the body in just to hold everything together in place. So when you do remove everything, it's, it's got a nice strong place to hold for your fingers. Um, but so far, this seems to be working out really good. It's a really nice build. And you do have to be careful with some of the little tiny parts, guys. You know, that's one thing I can definitely tell you. Um, again, that's why I think I do all these big rigs is because I know that their parts are a lot bigger and it doesn't, I don't break as many or have as many problems getting them off the sprue. Alright brother, you go get some rest man. I hope you feel better Steven. I'll yell at you later on and check on you brother. I appreciate you stopping and I know you're not feeling good. We talked this morning. Healing thoughts to your brother all day, man. Uh, let me know if your doctor called you something in and got you something ready for you. There's got to be something out there cheaper, brother. And I think we're all pretty much in that boat when it comes to medications, guys. You know, one of our meds is going to be 300 bucks, another one's going to be, you know, 20, 25 bucks. But it's insane that you can't get the meds that the doctor wants to prescribe for you, the better meds without paying an arm and a leg even when you got insurance. I mean, that's crazy to me. They're not really showing you any picture here on how to line up the spokes. So I'm just going to kind of assume, which is a really bad, dangerous thing to do when it comes to a model kit, um, that you line them up like you would normally line them up. I'm just going to line each one of them up with the one behind it so that you can see it clean through the wheel spoke. I'm just trying to clean out the little bit of flash I saw in the wheel spoke here. Make them stand out a little bit more of the openings. When I build I just kind of like focus on what I'm building and focus on what I'm doing. I don't really, I look up every now and then to see goes the I talk to Robert just about every other day and say good morning to him. Um, he's been having some um, personal things going on, and I haven't been trying to bother him a lot because I know that he's um, trying to keep his keep his crap together and everything. So, um, but yes, I talked to him actually this morning. We spoke. We didn't speak. Speak. I texted him this morning. Um, him and I texted this morning. Um, he's okay. Um, as far as he tells me, anyways, how about that? I mean, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't live near the man, and I don't see him on a daily basis with him. But he says he's doing okay. Um, he's just doing a lot of stuff going on. I notice he hasn't been posting a lot either, and I'm hoping it's not something I said or did, or one of was some one of the members said or did. That wouldn't be right. You know what I mean, I'm hoping that it's just that he's he's dealing with personal stuff and just wants to, you know, the time to to regroup himself, which is cool. Everybody needs that now and then, brother. But yeah, I, I try to speak. I try to speak to him at least. I, I try to at least text him every day. I really do, um, as I do some of you guys. Um, it's hard to text all 400 of you, so sometimes if I miss you for the day, guys, don't think I forgot about you. Um, I'm probably I probably texted you know three other people at the same time. So okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and, like I said, leave it to where you can see through. 
for the wheels. Um, you're probably not supposed to do that, right? Probably supposed to block it out so that it has spokes all the way around. I don't know. How's it look on the box? No, the boxes look like they're pretty much close together. All right, so they're, they're pretty much open. So that's what we're going to do. So first thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm, instead of doing it any other way, I'm going to go ahead and glue the, wheel, uh, the, the wheels together before I put the tires on. I'll just glue this together first. Um, so I'm going to sand down the rim so that the rims stick together really tight because I want a nice tight fit when the wheel goes on. Gosh, Lee, blasted nabbit. And I'm really having problems with the shakes today. That's something I have to discuss with one of my doctors, with my doctor tomorrow. Um, I'm having problems with my grip. I'm dropping things a lot more. Um, I must have dropped my glass yesterday four times, man. Um, and I smoke and I drop my cigarettes, my lighter, you name it, I drop it, man. If it's in my hands more than a couple of seconds, my, my hand just, uh, just releases it. It's like the nerve just, um, and I'm having a couple of jumping issues. Um, my nerves are jumping in my head. Um, when I'm sleeping at night, my wife said she noticed that my head jerks while I'm sleeping. And she's not sure if it's because um, I'm gas. I'm trying to get air passage open, or if it's just a muscle thing. So I got to discuss that with him because uh, I'm sure that's dangerous as heck, especially with my plates in my neck and my throat. Um, I do have problems. So I do have problems sleeping. Sometimes I'm up late at night. Um, I don't get on a lot. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I hang out with Sam if I can keep my bozy butt up. And my meds don't kick my butt, but that's why I medicate late at night, too, because um, I wanted to knock me out and just kind of, like, make me sleep. All right, so we got the chrome off of both sides of those. Now I'm just going to put some glue on this and keep it together here. So let's move that off to the side. My blue spot. Get the glue off the toothpick. Um, well, if you're heading in his direction and you want to say hi, if you know him, you go, I, 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 um, like I said, I talked to him, he says he's okay, you know, and I'd like somebody to keep, to put an eye on him, that would be nice if you're in, if you're actually in the area, um, maybe you could just swing in and say hi and tell him Joe sent you or something, or tell him you decided that you just wanted to, you haven't, we haven't seen him, and I told him this morning we're missing him on the live shows, so, I thought he would pop in today, but I know he's dealing with a lot of stuff that, you know, I don't want to, it's, it's just personal stuff, and I told him, I, I, you know, I feel for him, and, you know, we miss him on the show, and I try to talk to him, and like you guys, just like every day. You know, some of you guys answer me back, say good morning, and some of you don't, but that, that's okay. Well, not you guys, but the ones that I say good morning to. Um, we got a couple of ladies on here, Candy and um, Amy. I say hi to them in the mornings. Um, yeah, it's just a good morning from the crazy guy in South Florida, just saying good morning, and hope you guys have an amazing day, and... There are people out there that care, you know, how your day is in the morning and in the afternoon. So um, I might try to do Paul. I try to text Paul and, and um, Steve and, or Paul and Chris. And, you know, I do Joe and you guys. Um, and again, I'm honored to have you guys. I mean, you guys are some amazing model builders. I mean, I'm I'm um, so excited that, you know, I'm, I, I've been to you guys' group pages and stuff and I've been to your personal profiles and stuff. You guys are, you guys do some amazing work and I really am honored to have you guys come into the live show and hang out with me and talk to me. I mean, I'm just a normal guy trying to throw some plastic together. And my builds aren't nothing to be squawked about. I, I, you know, that's not what I'm saying. I just, I'm amazed at how well you guys really build and the detail you guys are able to do and get. Um, maybe someday when I get my own room and I'll be able to do a little bit more, you know, have a better spray booth or, you know, a better airbrush setup, maybe I'll be able to do more. You know, but right now doing it out of my living room on my wife's 150-year-old dining room table is not quite up my alley for her. I don't want to end up sleeping in the travel trailer for the rest of my life because I messed up her table. All right, so this should be what your rim looks like when you're done. Just simple rim. Uh, do we know what I did with the other side of the rim, guys? Anybody? Oh, there it is. See? There's in it there, too. And my eyes are getting worse, and my shakes are getting worse. Um, so i got to discuss all this stuff with him. Um, the last time we discussed it, he mentioned putting me on a heavier med, and I don't want to do that. Um, I'm already a zombie half my life anyway. So, um, he does say he will help me get disability if I need to, but um, we haven't done that yet. Because um, I still try to do what I can, and I hate saying that I'm disabled, uh, retired, and disabled at 56 years, 57 years old, 57 years, almost 58 years old. Um, I hate saying that, I really do, but 
we made a decision years ago that you know it, it was just going to kill me and by the time i was you know 60 or 70 i was going to be so bad off that i wasn't going to be able to enjoy life so you know i turned into a retired disabled stay-at-home dad and um i have three wonderful boys because of it so you know somebody's got to be home i can remember my mom being home and being glad that she was home when i got in trouble in school to deal with it rather than you know having to deal with it after work and everything else she's got to do so it was a good thing. My dad worked constantly, was on call constantly. I was too when my my oldest was born. I was on call constantly. I was working constantly. You know, and then I got hurt on the job. And my life totally changed. So we um we do what we gotta do daily, guys. And that's all I can tell you, you know what I mean? I tell guys all day, every day, you know, head up, man. Keep going forward, just keep moving along. Just keep moving along. I think my wife's told me many times, I think that if I lay down too long, I might not get up. But that's, you know, that's, that's a possibility. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to get up. She said, heck with it, I'm comfortable. I am trying to get this one lined up with this one because I just stuck glue on it. I didn't want to have to separate it, but I guess I will. All right, so they're showing that they're actually wide open. So that's the way I'm going to make them on the kit. On the box, the grooves are wide open. Your spokes are wide open, so that's what I'm doing on this too. Okay, so they're both wide open, ready to roll. So we let those dry now. So we got all that down, Pat. I got to get the rings out for the backs of these. So let me do that real quick. Cha cha cha. So we're we're almost down to the roadster, guys. Almost ready for the roadster. And I think I'm gonna wait to decal all of them together, both of them together. I I only see two so far in any of these. There's the other two. Are they identical? They are identical. What number are they? Excuse me, 54. All right, light again. Wow, that's not good. Well, that was good anesthesia, though. I'm glad they were able to wake you up. My wife has uh, sinus problems when she sleeps. Um, she gasps for air in the middle of the night sometimes. It, sometimes she gasps so bad for air um, that it, when her nasal's blocked that I um, literally, I literally jump up um, from a dead sleep and check her. Okay, so that's this one. That says 54. Okay, so there's 54, guys. And I know I'm going to need this in the next step to put the engine in because this goes here on the back of the engine. So I'm going to pull that off. Go ahead and pull that off. Uh, there is a brake. These, this one did not have any brake, but that is definitely a brake um, caliper. There on a brake uh, rotor, so that must be going. That must be on the street dragster because there's the other one over there. See, on total, two totally different screws. Um, the only thing I think we got left, yeah, we gotta put that in there. We're gonna put everything in one bag. Um, I don't know why they give you brake cylinders, but they don't put it on the. They don't show you putting it on the. Unless that's over here. Hold on, maybe I'm missing something. Am I missing something here, guys? Anybody built this thing? Oh, yep. Two brake calipers go on the back and instruction number six. Okay. So we need the brake calipers. I think I want to paint them. I think I want to paint them red. Just for the hell of it. Yeah, well, that's, that's what we're saying. My, um, I have, um, we have here with me, I have probably 15 years of medical records, um, plus anything new, any new MRIs, any new CAT scans, um, the new EMG that shows damage to my elbows and my wrists and my arms, uh, which is recently. We're going to do an um, MRI sometime in the next couple of months to have that have be updated as well. Um, but we have, I have plenty of medical records. I mean, my wife, my wife is a paralegal for Morgan and Morgan, so she's a big uh, record keeper. Um, so we have everything for. I, I actually have my X-rays, which are no good anymore, of course, um, because of how much damage and how many things have changed. Anyways, but I have my original um, X-rays here at the house from when I got hurt. Um, the lady at the place told me that they were going to put everything on film, you know, on on computer. 
and burn all the old ones. So I was like, no, can you, can you sneak my, you know, can you, can you give me my, I, I want them. I don't want them to be burnt. I don't want, the only way to be able to get it is on a CD. I want to be able to see the damn picture. So the nurse was nice enough to uh, try and locate them for me and was able to locate them for me. So I have my originals. Uh, they're probably not ruined. I just haven't seen them in a long time. Um, they are hidden in a nice cool spot in my bedroom. So, and I have, a, I, 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 I can get a lawyer with these, I'm sure, with my wife working at Morgan and Morgan. Um, and they know me too. And plus, I have a doctor that I've been seeing for 15 years that knows me so well. So, I don't think I'll have any problem getting it. Um, yeah, I know, they, they, they usually turn you down the first time, my wife says, you know, just, just to see if you're going to fight. Um, they wanted me um, a while back because I was really, um, I was really getting depressed when I first got hurt and having some problems. So, they wanted me to go see a psychologist. Um, but I opted out of that, and that's one of the main step reasons. Um, how should I say? Um, I'm probably in the position I am in right now because I didn't do everything they wanted us to do. Um, my, I had a lawyer that wanted me to do that, but I told him no. You know. Unless I could jump up on the psychiatrist's desk to pee in his coffee cup and shoot him a moon. I told him, then I'd do it. No problem. <laughs> Easy peasy, brother. No problem. Get those... And those are not the same. So does that say 54 on it? No, it does not. That says 172. So that's definitely not them. That's definitely them. So, but they are weird, just so you guys know. They're bubbled to go to the outside like so. So I'm not gluing them because I like sometimes to use tires and rims for other things. So I'm not going to glue them into place. But there it is. That's it. Back tire is pretty much done. So this one gets the back tire, gets the brakes. Each one of them do. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the loose ones off of these screws. Because that's going to be on one of those steps there. That looks like the little cross number we're going to need. And this number two. So I'll have all the parts ready for Friday. We'll be able to put, we'll be able to do four, five, and probably six on Friday and get that done. So and then we'll only have number seven for the decals to do, guys, on this one. <clears throat> I'm trying to go slow, guys. I'm trying. I only do a little bit of building when I'm offline with you guys, man. I only build with you guys. I try my best anyway. Some things, some things I try to finish up and get the parts out and stuff to make it easier when I'm on the show. But really, I try to make sure that I do most of it with you guys. All right, so there's the rims. There's these rims. And we're pretty good here. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, my wife hasn't told me that. She says she knows that there's a, there's a bit of a waiting list, but she says she doesn't feel that with my injury, um, with the medical records and everything we already have here, ready to show them that we should really have that much of a problem. I mean, yeah, of course, everybody's going to, they're not going to, they don't want to just give anybody money, man. You know what I mean? They want to make sure you jump through every one of their stupid government hoops first, which I can understand that. You know I mean? There's a lot of guys out there, like my medications are, you know, they're getting harder to get because of guys that, or people, not just guys, but people that, you know, either sell them or mix them with another drug, or, you know what I mean, they're using them improperly, and that hurts me and you, you know what I mean, because that makes our meds harder to get, you know what I mean, and there is an opioid pandemic going, or a pandemic, there's an or opioid crisis going on in the world, I know that, but, you know, it, it's the doctor's responsibilities and the patient's responsibilities to focus on what they are and are not supposed to be doing, um, you can't, you can't kill us all for one person's mistake, it's a major process, I know, I know, and I'm going to have to wait. Well, like I said, um, I'm not far from getting Social Security, if it's still around. Um, but the disability thing, um, I don't know if I'm ready to jump through those hoops yet. Um, I'm not ready, and I, I put it up and I say it because you know, I have people asking me, you know, what do I do for a living? I don't, I don't, I don't work. Um, I do my best to, you know, do everything I can here so my wife has nothing to do. You know, like I said, I take care of the kids. Um, I do a lot of the cleaning, and I do a lot of the cooking, and um, I still do my outside stuff as well, so I, I just, you know, I have wanted to show her appreciation for, you know, it's, it's been a long time since we've been together, and, you know, she, I worked two, you know, two full-time jobs um, when we were younger, um, even when I had my first child before I got hurt, you know, I worked my ass off, and um, I did a lot of different things, so we've been there and done that. This uh, next Monday is my 35th anniversary, so depending on if my wife goes to work or not, or if we leave town or not, we may not be uh, doing a show there either. I may have to turn the show over to someone else 
Um, I'm trying to find a backup. Maybe Paul, or, or Paul works during the day, so I can't do that. Or maybe I'll hit one of you guys up to do a show or something, or at least a video or something to post out there. Um, but that's about it. Uh, Friday I will be back on. I will not be back on tomorrow. Um, I'm just too, like I said, I'm just too beat from the running around. You know, I'm up at 5.30 in the morning, or 5, yeah, 5.15, 5.30 in the morning every day. Um, I'm usually up by 6.30 on Saturday and Sunday. Um, and then I do whatever I can outside before it gets too hot on me, and then I come inside and do whatever I can inside before my body shuts down on me. So, uh, but that's about it. We're, um, Correct. Hi, Dave. I saw you, brother. I figured you were still here. I got, I got a little eyeball up here that shows me who's on. I saw you. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't, was not uh, ignoring you, my brother. I appreciate you. <coughs> yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Even you know, and when every time I go, whenever I have to see a new doctor, and I have to explain, and I mean, I, if the doctor would look at my medical records from, let's say, ten years ago compared to what they were. 20 years ago when I got hurt, 25 years ago, when 22, 23, 24 years ago, 23, 24 years ago when I got hurt, they would see that everything has declined. Everything has gotten worse from then to now. My shakes, my drops, my nerve endings are hurting more. Um, uh, my head leans permanently now. Uh, it's hard to swallow. It's hard to, it's hard to breathe sometimes. It's hard to eat. It's hard to drink. Uh, brushing my teeth with all the teeth damage from all my meds that I take is almost impossible sometimes. And, so if they look back through the whole thing rather than just focus on right now, they would see the process of what I've, I've gone through from the day I got hurt to now. But they won't. They'll take a couple of years back, and that's what they'll read on. You know, so they don't know where I came from. They only see where I'm at now, which they should be the other way around. They should be willing to go look at everything, um, which is what this doctor did and my neurosurgeon did, which is what he did to find out um, what was wrong with me. Um, I'd had a previous MRI before I got hurt, and he com compared that one to this one, and he was able to determine that, you know, I had several different things wrong. So, but if you, if you, it's like looking at an old car, you got to look at history. Has the, has the transmission gone out before, and what was the problem in the transmission, that kind of stuff. Robert! Hey, brother! Glad to see you! <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <Bull. laughs> I still love you, though. So yeah, it, it, it's a process, and I, I'm I'm gonna jump I'm gonna jump on it eventually, Joseph. I'm not positive, you know when. Um, I'm gonna have to sooner or later. Um, I stopped trying to do little side jobs um, out in the public for about a year and a half ago, two years ago. Um, but that's about it. All right, so let's see if this is ready for me to start working on again. Nope, wasn't ready. Oh, did I miss putting rule on that? Oh, I did. Alright, let's try this again, guys. How are you doing today, Robert, Mr. Shugru, Mr. Robert Shugru? <laughs> Glad to see you. We were just talking about you. Your ears must have been burning. That or somebody went and talked to you. Jeff was just about to come over to you. Oh, 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 oh. You know what? I really wish I had my tips because I hate doing this. Alright. So does it go that way? It goes that way, right? Yep, so that's the way the bag goes. Okay, so the bag sits on that and that. Alright, so it's not wasn't quite ready for me to I guess I forgot to glue one side, guys. Alright, so we're gonna have to set that back to the side. Right, so we're gonna set that like that. Let that finish going. We got the wheels done. I'm gonna go ahead and try to put the wheels on the rims for the front. Let's see if we did that okay. All right, there we go. Easy peasy, bucket breezy. Good man. I'm glad. That's cool. Take it easy and take a break, man. You've been running around doing a lot for the past few weeks. Appreciate you swinging in. It's awesome to have you. Always, always love to have you. So when we come back on Friday, I will have probably the wheels on because I'll probably I might I might even pop in tomorrow night as a, a quickie. I don't know. Um, this will be a quickie. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys a quickie tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, that sounded so bad, guys. 
Um, anyway. <laughs> um, Alright, so we got the wheels all done. I really can't do the steering wheel and stuff until I get that parachute bracket all healed up. Dry. All right, so we're good with the tires. We're good with the engine. We're ready to start slamming stuff together. So, like I said, on Friday, we'll finish up number four and get the engine installed. And maybe even do decals. I don't know. It depends on how quick we get the body and stuff together. Um, but that's pretty much what that is, putting all the tires and body and stuff on number six. So that's going to be the fun one. That's where it's all going to come together. We're going to be able to see it, what it looks like. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Hope everybody has an amazing day. Um, I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a rest this morning before I have to go get my youngest from school. Um, I really, I'm going to go out and pick up that last pile so that it gets into the cans and can get out of here this week. And that's it. Trees are all gone. Everything's all done. Um, I don't have any more actual trees to drop. I just have three huge stumps to get out of the ground now, um, which I'll do a little bit at a time. I got a year to get them out of the ground. So I got plenty of time. My wife says we got about 14 months and she wants to move to Tennessee. So we'll have to, I'll have to move on that. But like, subscribe, share, follow, hit that like button. I appreciate you guys, um, all of you for coming in. Rob, uh, you guys are coming in, but you're not feeling good. Uh, Steve, Jeff, everybody, you guys, I appreciate you really much. I really do. Um, I hope you enjoy the shows. And again, I'm humbled. You guys are some great. No, it does not have wires for the motor, but I was thinking about wiring it. Because to make it look a lot better, I know it would. It would stand it right out. And I do have plenty of wires. Um, I'm just not sure whether I wanted to do the yellow one, the gold one, the green one, the purple one. I don't know what would go with it really good. Black, maybe? I guess black would go good for wiring, huh? Or the gold. We can make it really stand up. I could do gold. <laughs> nah. It's probably going to be yellow or red wiring if I can find my yellow wires. There's some. So, I've also got purple. I don't know think, purple? <laughs> Alright, so do we think the front, what do you think, Joseph? Think the front end's going to, you guys going to think, Joseph and you guys think it's going to, the front end's going to be dry enough for me to put it on? Oh, it's not sliding or anything when I'm moving it. Oh, that piece is. So maybe I should just I should just probably leave it alone for the day, huh? Because I really don't want to mess it up. It did stay on finally. Stand up a little bit more. There we go. All right. So, yep, 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 yep. All right. Let me go ahead and get the parts out for Friday so we know what we're doing. I'm going to go ahead and put this back into here because all of this goes to that other build. So whatever I pull out, I'm going to put in here that belongs to this build. Okay, so this build stuff is going to be the windows, the steering wheel, transmission mount, brakes. That goes to the other engine. And let's see what else. God bless America. It's not going to stay together when I'm doing it like that, is it? Jesus, Christopher Columbus, guys. I messed it all up. Man. All right, guys, here we go again. Nobody saw that, right? Y'all were looking down at something. Y'all were looking at your fish shooting hoops. Now, I agree with you first, but I didn't. <laughs> I hit it with my hand, man. So we're back at it again. So, yep, I'm going to let it dry overnight for sure. Because it's going to be a pain in the rumple still skin if I don't. So, yeah, I'm going to have to let it dry for sure overnight. This piece back. Get these pieces back on. If I can, I will do my best to, if I can wait, I'm not sure that I can. If I can wait, I will wait to do this on Friday, but that kind of puts us kind of slowed down as well because then we can't do a whole lot. So if I do a little bit when you guys aren't around, it's just so we can move on to the next step and you guys can see where it's going from there. I'm really having problems with my finger. My hands are swollen today too, so I'm not able, I'm, not, I'm having problems Putting my feet, I can't pick up the part. I have to slide it off the dang rail. Man. And of course, I pulled the glue off when I did it. Up a bit. That one came. That one came out pretty good. It actually stopped. 
Okay, so that goes there. Can you see it? Yep, okay, so that one goes there. All right, so we got that back in. Gee, it was boy, you gooba gooba. All right, so yeah, that's one another reason I put it on this plank because I don't I don't use this plank always for everything, so I put it on here so it can sit. So let's get this one in place now. And we should be good to go. Get it back up just a hair, just a hair up. There we go. All right, okay, that's it. Put these two pieces on tomorrow or the next day or whatever. All right, so I got the front end back together. Let me get the tech out of my way before I bump it again. All right, so. Our next day is going to be Friday. We will be doing number four, and I've already done number five, so we'll be doing number four and number six, uh, which is where we install everything, guys. Um, like I said, we may go ahead and do the, may go ahead and do the body um, decals. I don't know. Um, but then we're going into the Roadster, which appears to be basically, well, it's different. There's a lot of different stuff. There, even the rear end's different. There's a, it's all different. Front end is built the same way. It's just got an extra part. It's like a steering mechanism. Oh yeah, we gotta put the steering arm on. The connection on. Um, and that's about it, guys. It's coming out on good. I wanna thank again, thanks Dave for sending this to me. Um, I really do appreciate it, Dave. Um, I love building with you guys here online. Um, and if, like I said, if you guys can't make it for some reason, or you can't show for some reason, I do understand, guys, it's not a big deal. You know, um, I do do this for you guys. So if you, I do do this for you guys, so if you guys can come, it's an amazing thing. If you can't, I'm still gonna do the videos, and you guys can watch them later. No biggie. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you for coming in. I do. I feel honored that you know so many great builders want to come and hang out with me and watch me build. Um, we'll do. Um, I, I, what, what did what did everybody think about the room yesterday? Was did it seem to be like an okay idea, or do you think that we should nay nay on the on the rooms and just stick with the live feeds. Um, I thought it was okay. Um, my, my one glitch was, I think was my fault. Um, I'm gonna blame AOL anyway. <laughs> but I think it was my fault. I don't think I should have pushed the live. I don't think I should have had to. Um, Cause my software was already running. So therefore, dang it. So therefore, um, it probably just blocked AOL from, or not AOL, oh my God. Facebook from, letting me through the video portion so once i shut that off i went right in without a problem again i'm just taking parts off the sprue that i know we're going to need for the next build and i'm going to put them in this box so that i'm ready for you guys so let's see we need the other brake those down here all right Decals we won't need yet. Tires we don't need yet. That's all engine parts from the other. Oops, that's my little bit of Okay. Okay, cool. Maybe we should do that. Once a week we'll do a room just to say hey and check each other out. You know? Maybe you can, Joseph, you can get back to the building and stuff and we can see what you're working on, you know? All right, so now I'm trying to determine that all looks all right, so that goes into there. There's the arm there. I'm just trying to make sure I got everything that I need for this piece, this next build here, guys. All right, that is all Roadster. That is all Roadster, if I'm not mistaken. That all looks like Roadster. Is that the piece there? Do I have that piece? I do have that piece. Okay, so let me lay them out. I got this piece. I got, is that the piece there? That does not look like the right piece. Okay. Mm. Okay, so we have number 46 and number 47 now. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. 46, I already got 47 out. No, I'm 46 and 47. Okay, so I'll take that out here, then that out there. Let's see, there. 
There's not much more gray parts in here, dude, that don't belong on the road trip. I'm gonna go through them anyways and check, because I think two of my parts are definitely over here because I saw them earlier. Hi, Miss Candy! Glad to have you, hon. Thanks for coming in and saying hi. I'm just gonna use my lighting, guys. Heads up. And my magnifier. God, I feel so old when I do this. Alright, so I'm looking for a specific part number. Cha cha cha. 46 and 47. That says 150. That says 157. So it's definitely not gonna be on that one, because that's in the hundreds. Alrighty, boys, we're cruising now. 47. I found you, Fred Silverman. Anybody remember that? I think that was Saturday Night Live. I found you, Fred Silverman. I forget who said it, but I think that was Saturday Night Live, guys. So there's that one. Now I need to find 47. And there's the, there's the cross member there. Number 48. Alright, so we got that. And we got the chute. And I got the steering wheel. I'm just trying to gather everything up for the next two jumps. And I think we got it covered, guys. I'm missing one. That's the pedal for that, right? Yep, there's the pedal for that. Alright, so now I'm missing just the number 47. Wondering, it doesn't show that it's chrome, but I'm wondering if it is. Da, da, da. 50. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I think I mixed matched the chromes, but either that or they did, so. We're looking for number 46. 46. 40, 46, 46, 46. Okay, so it's definitely not on the crumbs. Here's the steering wheel for the other one. I do not see anything that even looks closely resembles to what I'm looking for, so I'm going to check this part to make sure that's not it. Fourteen and fifteen. Nope, that would be the other one. Okay, and it's not in here. This is an empty screw. There's no little parts in here except for small ones, okay? There. There's my other brake. So I got both of the brakes now. This is still. That's got to be on here, guys. 157, 105. Gee whiz. Yes, I'm using a magnifying glass to see things I feel so old. <laughs> okay, so that's got to be it. So, I'm pretty sure we're good there. Yeah, that's it. I already had it out, guys. Okay, so there we got it. Alright, so we got all the parts for a number four to be finished as well. So these can go in here, and I got the parts that we're going to put in here to use on Friday, so I'll be ready for you guys then, and we'll be able to do that. And the tires are already done, so we won't have to worry about that. Alright, so next thing is going to be number four, guys. We're going to put the steering column in and connect the steering mechanism to the chassis, as well as put the brake pedal in and the steering wheel and the tires on. Then we'll move on to number five. Putting, after putting the tires on, we'll go over to number six and get those things done. Um, which is pretty much as pretty. We'll be able to see everything together at that point in time, though. So it's pretty good. Again, like, subscribe, share, follow, hit that like button. I appreciate everybody that came in. Um, I am working on, for you guys at the Model Asylum, I am working on the breakfast menu uh, today and tonight. So it will be popped back out hopefully tomorrow or Friday. Um, I will be popping it out once a week for you guys, excuse me, once a week for you guys, so keep an eye out for that. Um, always, as I always say, if you guys do not want to be tagged in any of my silliness or antics in any of our groups, 
please PM one of the admins and let them know you wish to be opted out. So we won't bother and tag you and do those kind of silly things. Um, also, I saw Dave Winter do something on his uh, group the other day, or last week, and I think I'm going to try to do it here. Um, I think we want to do a model show. Um, I don't have any gifts to send anybody, um, but I can um, do a model show if you guys want to do like a little photo shoot type thing and everything with your kits. Go find your, your best couple of kits and um, um, shoot some pictures out to the group. And we'll all vote to see who, who, who likes what cars best. Um, I won't be involved in it. Um, the other admin are welcome to do so. Um, I don't feel if I create something in one of the groups, I should be involving myself in it with you guys. Um, it's really not fair for me to put stuff out there as well. I just try to run stuff for you guys, so I don't do that. <clears throat> Once in a while, you guys will see me throw my build up on the screen for um, banner or something like that. Um, as banner, excuse me. Um, but that's just waiting for the banner contest. All right, guys, I appreciate you guys coming in. I'm out of here. Love you guys. You guys have a great day. Uh, Jeff, Candy, Robert, uh, Joseph, I love you guys. I appreciate you all for coming in and saying hi. Um, please keep coming in, guys. The more you guys come in, the more it makes me want to do this. Jeff, baby, I appreciate you, brother. Um, thanks for coming in. Um, hope everybody has a great day. I will see you guys on Friday morning. Um, I will pop in tomorrow, probably in and out, just a little bit, just to check things out. Um I'm, I'm excited to get this thing looking like the, road, the drag store it's supposed to. Um, it looks pretty cool to me so far. It's coming together fairly well. And I have not broken anything majorly yet. So <laughs> that's a plus plus on my end. Um, but I hope everybody has a great day. And I will definitely see you Friday. I will. I already have theme of the day scheduled to come out. So that ain't got to worry about that, guys. It will be out there on, excuse me, on tomorrow morning by 630, I think it is, is when it's scheduled. Um, that's while I'm trying to get everybody else up, my kids and stuff up for school and so forth. So I have to make sure it's out there. Appreciate you guys. Everybody have a great day. Y'all come in and keep coming in and hanging out with me and seeing uh, what I'm doing. Uh, we will start next week on the uh, roadster of this. Um, I'm thinking I'm doing a Saturday room or a Saturday show. Uh, so hopefully you guys got the notifications on when Paul's off work uh, this weekend. I think I'm going to try to get a show going with him, getting him in and live. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll do a room or whatever. Um, but we'll we'll do room once a week um, for us to go chat with each other and hang out with each other for at least an hour. Um, if you guys feel the show could be a little longer, I don't want, like I said, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I appreciate the time that you do give me here. Um, so I figured an hour wasn't too long of a show and everybody still had their morning that they could get, you know, get their stuff together before noon for their, either their kids got in or their, you know, their grandkids got in or whatever. Um, so I've been keeping it like about an hour, hour and 10 minutes. Uh, just like the videos, I try to do no more than an hour on anything I put out. Sometimes I make a mistake and forget to shut off the record. Um, there was a video out on YouTube that was like eight hours long, guys. I deleted that. Um, but that's it. I'm out of here, guys. Uh, go check out any one of our platforms. If you have a problem finding us, please feel free to PM me, and I will steer you in the right direction with a link. Um, you guys are amazing. I appreciate it. Um, I love watching all your builds. I've learned so much from you guys again, like I've said. Um, I'm humbled by you guys coming in and wanting to hang out with me. Um, you guys have a great day. I will see you guys on Friday. Um, I will be lurking here and there in the next night, 24 hours, but I will not be um, doing a show in the morning. Um, unless I get, you know, the itch and then I'll do it in the afternoon or something. But I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to post a notification an hour or two before I do it so everybody can either get ready if they want to come or um, opt out. All right, guys, like, subscribe, share, follow, hit those notifications, bring your friends on in, tell them to come check us out. Um, again, shout out to Paul Lovelace, Joe Fritz, Chris Bryan, and Samuel Stokes for all the work that they do on the group and helping us out. Uh, so you guys have a great day. My, my computer's going off. It's saying it's did a update. Now I need to shut my system down anyway. So it's kind of forcing me. It says it's going to shut down in less than 30 minutes. So, All right, guys. I love you guys. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys on Friday. I will be um, hopefully ready to do finish off number five, six, and seven on Friday. And hopefully Monday we can start on the Roadster. And that one will be painted red. I will try to paint that this weekend so when Monday we start, I have the paint job done on it. Do my best to. Um, do I have red? Yes, I have red. Okay, cool. All right. So you guys have a great day. I'm out of here. Thank you again for coming, guys. We'll see you later on.
like, subscribe, share, follow, hit that button. We are on all of the logos you see on the screen. We are on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, and live every now and then. We do our best to be out here Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to do a live show for you guys. We, re we record it on Facebook, and we do live on Facebook, and then we put it out here to YouTube for you guys to check out. If you guys would like to do lives, or you guys would like me to start doing live back on YouTube, please put it in the comments of the videos. Hey, why don't you do a live um, on YouTube, and I will oblige. Hope everybody has a great day, and I will be off for 24 hours, and I will check you guys later. Bye, all.